just for a moment start to recognize that the entire universe of experience that you've had is present in this home next to you as well. That what you're holding is the collection of an entire world within a body. It's such an honor to be invited into a space with all of these stories, with all of this magic. And very soon we'll embark on a journey where we'll be entering the field of sound and exploring the idea of a home through sound. Let's take two more deep inhales and rest. One more deep, 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 deep. And just for another moment, give a little squeeze. And as if there was nowhere that you ever had to be ever again, just be. The world's on pause. And just rest tonight and enjoy the receiving of this gift that we have been lucky enough to receive. So very slowly as you depart your hands and come back to your own space, going back to your own home, but knowing that you're surrounded by family, even if you just met them, this is your family. As we gently come back into the space, just hold on to the subtle frequency of receiving. Just receive.
friends, welcome family. <laughs> so this was a great traditional song of welcoming family and friends into our ceremonial space. Um, this, this is what the actual words were saying, like, welcome friends, come and be with us. Um, into this warm atmosphere, accepting atmosphere, setting a common intention that we are here, yes, to eat. We are here, yes, to drink and to have fun and have a good time. Above all, we are here because we missed you and we love you and we want to see you. And it goes vice versa. So it's like a Greek tradition that we are welcoming the ones visiting the house and the ones who are the visitors, they also bring the gifts so that we can exchange into this love. Um, so my name is Marlia. Welcome, everyone. Um, I was born in this island of Cyprus, and um, it's um, we call it the island of beauty, and the, the island where goddess Venus, goddess Aphrodite, was born. Um, from the, the waves, from the foam of the waves. And uh, Eros, for some Eros, for some Cupid, the son of Aphrodite, was also born there. So we could, nothing, we could create nothing less than beauty for you today, also for, <laughs> for your eyes and also for your ears. And uh, thank you, Sam, for opening us to home. Um, besides all the mythology that comes along with, with my country and all these elements that, what, that we say, we have this saying that whichever stone you pick, you will find a story there. So tonight is going to be a storytelling night. Um, I would like also to bring to the awareness of people that might not know that Nicosia, our capital city, is the only city um, in Europe right now that is being is still divided into two. There's a wall in the middle and um, there is a perpetual political scene going on for 46 years now that they keep the people apart. So for me, it's been a, quite a big issue in all my life. Also coming from both sides of parents, families of uprooting, and so the music is like connecting um, all these elements together because we have songs which we play and then the Turkish playing them with their lyrics and the, the rhythms are the same and we call them this language or they call them that language and it's all like all blended. So for me it's, uh, it's very important that it doesn't matter who, you know, who does it belong to or what nationality it is, but it's just music and music doesn't see any borders. So there is this line in the middle all the way through the island. If you check it on the map, there's actually a line. <laughs> That's the wall. And um, what I love to do the most is take my friends and we actually uh, take guitars and drums in hand and we put our, our passports here because this is the only way that you can like snap it in and we play while we walk and we go for walking busks along that line, just to raise awareness to the people and to the expats that are living there and to tourists that this is, this is what's happening. Um, yeah, and it's a beautiful way to, to kind of um, create awareness. Um, and um, there is, this is like such a big, such a broad spectrum, like home, that subject that Sam brought us in. And um, I hope for each of these songs to get you back home in one way or another for tonight. Um, so poetry has been a super uh, uh, strong way to transfer knowledge from past generations. Like a lot of the songs that have not been, you know, like either recorded or written down. So it's all just done verbally. So a lot of these songs are, are songs that uh, they have survived, sort of, yeah, survived the generations. Um, and uh, changing a little bit, because uh, one troubadour would sing it this way, and then it would last for some years, and then the other would sing it another way, and so on. So 
this, um, this, this next song is called Pozablin. Pozablin is actually the, the, the word in Cypriot for coal, like black coal, the coal that, that becomes the wood with when you burn it. And uh, the translation um, of Pozablin is uh, there is a village on the south side, which is actually a Turkish Greek village. It's called Kritutera. It's from the Venetian's time, Venetian times. And a man is in love with a beautiful woman um, whose eyes are such a gift for him. Her eyes are withholding the spark of life. He trembles upon her gaze, his heart shivering and breaking into pieces every time she walks by. He wishes he could turn into black coal in case she doesn't notice his love for him so that she can add him into the soil of her lush garden in some corner of the garden somewhere. And from her glorious gaze one day or the next, he can sprout and grow into a plant. And he chooses to grow and blossom as her favorite climbing flower bush, so that when he grows many, many branches standing tall and creating the shade, his flowers emitting the strongest, luring, mystical smell, she can walk underneath him and be showered and embraced in his falling flowers. So this is Pozaubin. Probably in one of the least possible ways that you would ever listen to it from a Cypriot person. Because I arrange it on the hand. Yeah. <laughs>
I met her in Bali. She's the most beautiful singing bird. Her heart is open and she's carrying traditions from several lineages within her. Ancestral ceremonial Balinese background and open to medicine song crafting along with her guitar. Music is her passion. She spreads her wings to take flight and take others with her along the way. With a full moon to guide her through all obstacles, she continues to reflect that life and shine bright in life. Please welcome Purnama.
σε κάθε σου άνα Πνοή να Να μπαίνω στην καρδιά σου Να Να μπαίνω connect with each and every one of them in such a profound way, each for different elements that reach 
way deep into something very common and very mutual. Searching for our true voices, connecting with others by our passion for music, sharing the deep love and feminine sacredness that reside in our hearts. We all share the pure, warrioress, sharp, blunt, power through spirit, like sometimes I'm truly afraid of us. <laughs> and we show this through our voices. And we also share our super sensitive and fragile and soft and uncertain nature of ours. And we show that through our voices. And the first time I sat across them in my first Kavali band practice and heard them sing, and they had been singing for some time. They have been practicing for a few weeks already. I had like this jaw-dropping moment, like experiencing awe and fascination and automatic palpitations in my heart um, and true admiration for each and every one of them. Deep gratitude for my sisters, Jasmine, Shazi, and Paolo. <laughs> because it talks about the, the element of flight, the element of earth, the element of water, and the element of fire. So it just blends a beautiful story from, a, from the mountains of Kikos up in the, the central Cyprus, like 1,500 meters elevation. And there is this pine tree which has uh, uh, dried up from, from, the, from water. And there is a, a kite, an eagle, that is flying above and looking down at the, at the tree. He, see, he sees the, how dry it, and he comes, it is and he comes down and he lands on one of his branches and asks the, the tree, who is the master of this, of this uh, spring that has gone dry? And the pine tree says it, it, it's the long gone uh, beloved that she left and now he, he hasn't seen his beloved for so many years. So uh, the source has, has dried up. And uh, as soon as the beloved comes back again, the water will start running again and uh, all the mountain slopes will be blossoming again. So all of this you will hear in this, in this next song.
I used to think myself not enough. I had all these dreams and vision and visions in my space, didn't know what to do with them. So I wrote a book about them, which I call The Omnipotence of Love. Suddenly people could read my thoughts without needing to be telepathic, and I could flow with them hand in hand in harmony. I used to feel myself dark and gloomy and cut off like the black sheep, like disconnected and uninspired exposed. So I composed this song as a prayer of thankfulness to the loving intelligence that keeps on guiding me, nourishing me, inspiring me, providing, reflecting the light back to me so that I can reflect the light back to you. So this one is called Jurema. And it's actually the only reason why I brought all this stuff so that I can play just this one. <laughs> So enjoy, and once you get the lyrics, please come in with the lyrics. Oh, I always protect 